Meghan Markle has changed Prince Harry making him grumpy and aloof since their wedding last May, a royal expert has claimed. The claim was made by former royal correspondent Duncan Larkham. Mr Larkham alleged the pair snubbed the press while on their trip around Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand last year. The royal expert, who wrote a biography of Prince Harry, claimed they blanked media during their trip, calling the move short-sighted. He told the Post, all of Harry's staff have always thought he was fantastic, but the two of them together are high maintenance. Mr Larkham claimed the prince had become quite grumpy and aloof from his own inner circle of staff. He added, he's down to earth, a normal guy trapped in the royal world, and he doesn't take himself very seriously. But now he is. The Duchess of Sussex is said to be struggling to adjust to life in the British royal family, with some insiders citing her lack of control over her personal and professional life. Her strong nature is reportedly rubbing some royal family members up the wrong way, with one of her friends calling her ballsy. Last month Meghan's personal assistant, Melissa Tubody, left her job and was reportedly in tears because of it. The Duchess was said to have put a lot of demands on M's Tubody, 39, who handed in her notice just six months after starting to work for the Duchess. A source said, her job was highly pressurized and in the end, it became too much. She put up with quite a lot. Meghan put a lot of demands on her and it ended up with her in tears. She is hugely talented and played a pivotal role in the success of the royal wedding. She'll be missed by everyone in the household. Melissa is a total professional and fantastic at her job, but things came to a head and it was easier for them both to go their separate ways. Meghan's close protection officer also quit her role after amid speculation royal security measures are a massive constraining force on the Duchess. The unnamed blonde bodyguard was seen while Meghan and Harry were on their first Royal Pacific tour together in October. A Scotland Yard source revealed the well-respected and brilliant bodyguard was leaving for personal reasons which have absolutely nothing to do with the Duke or the Duchess.